Tyler, just kind of your transition and, and, and being an older guy, you heard Coach Brown. What, what's it been like, I guess, first of all, transitioning to the team and then now that spring ball to him? What's that been like? Um, it's been awesome. I've been, uh, the guys have welcomed me with open arms. You know, I think it's my kind of second time doing this, coming to a new program, new team. And uh, from my experience and my my role, I really wanted to just come in and, and work hard, improve myself. And um, I know, know that, you know, we need to develop some leaders on this team. But, you know, the only way you can do that is by building relationships one-on-one -on -one with each guy, um, showing what you can do, working hard every single day, bringing energy. So that was kind of my goal. Um, and knowing that, you know, we're going to get reps, we're going to have a bunch of time to get better and grow in the offense. So was really kind of January, February, come in, learn the offense, um, get it pretty much down pat as much as I can, and then um, keep working hard each day. And you know, quarterback room, all the receivers, tight ends, O-line, defense, they've been great as far as all of us coming and gelling together. Tyler, this being your seventh year, you're going to end your college career here at Louisville. Why was this the best shot for you to be able to accomplish what you want to accomplish? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I really think with um, – both Coach Jeff and Brian, you know, their history developing quarterbacks in this offense and the success that they've had in the league um, is really attractive when you're looking at it in the portal. Um, just kind of the year that they had last year, the standard that's now going to be set going forward. Um, you have a high standard for success, a lot of really talented guys on the roster and, um, and, and the style of offense as well, just pro style. You're going to be asked to handle a lot. You have a, a lot on your plate and, you know, that's something that I was kind of used to in my past and, and it was really I uh, wanted to take on that challenge and, and be a part of a really good team. Yeah, you ran air raid with Kit last year. Is mm -hmm. that, I mean, obviously you're back in the pro style. Is that just what you're comfortable with? I mean, I, like Brian kind of said, you bounce around from style yeah, to style. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, it's labeled as air raid, but, you know, everybody really runs all the same concepts. I think something that we do differently here is, you know, a lot of the under center stuff, you know, some play actions, some wide zones, some different personnels and shifts and motions. And, you know, we, they did that at Tech. and. A lot of it was more shotgun based, a lot of it was more drop back. Um, but what I was asked to do there, what really helped me progress was uh, we had full, we had kind of the keys to the car at that point where we would check almost any player, get us into the best play. And I feel like that grew my, grew my knowledge as far as defenses wise compared to when I was, you know, at Oregon and you really just kind of running the offense. But I um, learned a lot from those coaches and I feel like, you know, it's going to help me coming here. You got another young quarterback room here. You had one about two seasons ago with Donnie and Vera. Mm -hmm. What was that like? And maybe what is it like here, kind of not only helping these guys and getting yeah. them acclimated, but competing with them on a day to day basis? Yeah, very similar. I think, um, you know, those guys obviously both being starters now and they're on the right at Houston and Tech. And I knew right away when I came there that they were going to be really good players and that just needed um, maybe just another year to grow in the offense or mature physically wise or whatever it may be. I knew they were going to be really good. And I think they're both. Um, just amazing players in their own right. Very different. Uh, I think it's the same thing here. You got, you know, Brady, Harrison, Pierce, all these guys coming up, new guys that are really talented, that really bring a lot to the table. You know, Pierce and Harrison both have very different skill sets, but can get it done in really, really tremendous ways. And um, I think it's just really fun to compete against them and learn, you know, different ways to do it. Um, so it's been a lot of fun. Kind of, they've been great help for me, um, especially because they had a little bit more time in the offense. Just you know, questions about signals or something like that. And that's what a lot of it is. A lot of the plays, like I said before, you know, similar to what a lot of people run, but, you know, they call it a different thing. So it's been a lot of fun. Pierce, year two for you. What was that first year uh, for you like? What did you learn? And, and how do you feel you are entering spring camp? Yeah, the first year I'd say it was definitely a learning period and probably an adjustment for sure for me. Uh, there were a lot of changes that I needed to make physically, definitely gaining weight, getting my body bigger, and then, Mentally, it was definitely an adjustment coming to Louisville. I mean, uh, it's a big playbook. Coach Brom is definitely a different type of head coach. He's got a variety of different plays with a variety of different things he wants to do and a variety of ways we could do them. So it was a lot to try to learn all that at first. And then once I first got it down pat, it just felt like everything started to run smoothly. So coming into this spring, really, for me, I feel more comfortable with everything even in the winter workouts, just leading up to spring ball, everything just felt more comfortable, like it was flowing naturally. Pierce, how do you feel like you're different as far as skill? I mean, as far as what you've maybe improved from this time last year until now? I feel like my pocket presence has definitely improved. Uh, it's something me and Coach Brown talked about over the off season. He, he knew something that I could do was extend plays and use my legs to get out of the pocket when I need to. But it was really just about now taking that extra second or using as much time as I can in the pocket to 
really read through the defense, find my open receiver, and if nothing else is there, then use my feet to extend the play, make something happen, and be a playmaker. But really, I feel like that's where I grew the most at so far this spring is my pocket presence has been a lot different than it was last year, and I feel like I'm a lot more comfortable in there. For both of you guys, I asked Harrison Brady this, what, you're in the same room, you spend so much time together as a unit, but then you go out and you do compete, and, and one person's doing the job. What's that competition like, and what's the camaraderie like between the four of you, I guess, or eight or nine, how many ever there are, really? Uh, honestly, I'd say our camaraderie in this room, even though we're all competing, I'd say it's all love. Like, if we had to just describe one word of our quarterback room, like, we're a pretty loving quarterback room. Like, we're all friends. We're all close together. We come in. We see each other. You know, we're going to talk. We're going to have conversations about just daily life things. Like, we all get along really well together outside of that quarterback room off, off the football field. We could all hang out and do things outside of football. You know, so I really feel good about this quarterback room and what we could do during the season and what we will do during the season just because of how close we became already within these first three months and how close we'll become in the next six months or whenever our first game is in August. Yeah, just to piggyback off that, I think it's really important. You know, I've been a, I've been a backup for two years, been a starter for a uh, number of years after that, and I think the, the number one thing in a successful team is – the camaraderie and the gelling of those guys on the team, especially within the quarterback room, because you drive a lot of the, the success. You have the ball in your hand a lot of the time. So whenever the team sees that, you know, we're working hard, we're competing together, we're having a lot of energy, I think everybody else can feed off of that as well. And it's no different here. I think right away, you know, we all come from different places, different backgrounds, but we all kind of, we know what we're, we're trying to do, what we're trying to accomplish. And, and we like to have fun. I think, you know, coming into a, a healthy environment, having fun each day is, you know, what we're trying to do. Tell you. You mentioned spring ball. You got a lot on your plate. You got a big day coming up too, don't you? Mm-hmm. you yeah. Soon. So what? How, how how does that? How do you juggle? I mean, you know what I mean. Like how? Mm-hmm. When is the? When is, when are you getting married? Yeah, I'm getting married married April six. Um, and I so I, during I, spring ball. Yeah, I wasn't planning on being in college when we made the date. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I couldn't do it without my fiance Jordan. She's literally been. She's got a lot on her plate. You know, handling a lot of the the load of just. Stress, you know, she's helping me out with the offense. She's dealing with a lot of the uh, the wedding stuff. So I mean, she's been amazing. I couldn't, I would not be here, you know, you know, without her guiding me through those injuries and making this unified decision to come here. And that was kind of something we talked about with the coaches and in, in the portal. Was like, hey, we we have this little thing coming up. <laughs> we can we can move it. We don't definitely want to, but you know, they already said like we we're going to have kind of a Saturday off at the spring ball. So. It kind of worked out perfectly, honestly, and um, so I didn't want to miss any time. Was willing to because you know obviously you only get married once, um, so it was it was definitely a, a big a big decision. We're very grateful for um, the team and the coaches and, and and her for just making it happen. So you've been through so many things on the football field, but does that make you a little more nervous? That, yeah. Does that day make you? Yeah, it was very similar. Whenever I proposed originally, I was I could barely spit out any words and. You know, obviously you deal with a lot of complex words in the offense, you're talking to media, stuff like that, but I was definitely more nervous doing that. And I think trying to write the vows and do everything, the whole script for the wedding and plan all of that, it's definitely a lot more stressful. Um, so this this is, the fun part is coming into the, the facility each day and working with Pierce, and working with Harrison and Brady and all the guys on the football team. That's really the easy part to me. It's kind of what I'm most familiar with and learning the new offense has been really, it's been really fun. Is your fiance here? Or yes, sir. Yes, sir. So she teached and uh, coached in, in Lubbock, Texas. That's what she uh, she got her degree in business, and uh, she's now a teacher. But she's kind of been front loading a lot of the move and wedding process. So I think once we get through April, she'll probably start uh, substitute teaching or teaching again. But just because we're here for only a year, it's, it's kind of really hard to to commit to another job. And I think that's probably what she wants to do at the end of the day. I heard Joey was going to officiate that. Is he still going to be there? No, no. Unfortunately, not. they have a coaching camp. Uh, they have a coaches camp and. Um, so it ended up not working out. Uh, there was going to be a couple coaches coming to the wedding, but they ended up having to do that. So it was not a huge deal. And I still talk with, you know, we're very close with all those guys, and they're, they've been really great help and assets throughout the whole process. It seems like Joey was pretty complimentary of you, even after you decided to leave Texas Tech. Did you still have that relationship with him? What was he kind yeah. of on oh, yeah. the way out? Because, I mean, that's a place that you could have ended up staying, too. And yeah, no, I mean, no doubt. I think him and Coach Kelly, they, you know, they've, They've been super, you know, just great guys in my career, great coaches. They motivate me in so many ways. And 
I, I've, I go to them for just life advice, anything. They're both great, great people. And just in general, I think that's why they're going to have success there in that program. And um, they've been just great help throughout the whole pro throughout the whole process in the portal. And you know, I didn't necessarily didn't want to leave at that point, but I think when you you know have those kind of unlucky injuries and um, kind of the timing of it, you know, it made sense. And I think they understood it as well, and they were going to help me no matter what. And that's just a testament to who they are. When you look at your whole career, what you've been through and what you've accomplished and where you're at now. Um, do you feel, I guess, what's the word for this year? I mean, do you feel fortunate that kind of you get this ex this this year yeah. this opportunity? Yeah, I think fortunate is a, is a great way to describe it. You know, I think my mindset, I'm going to attack it. You know, I know that, uh, especially at this point, you know, nothing's nothing's guaranteed, nothing's given to you. you got to go out and earn it every single day. And people are going to, you know, have things to say about it, whether it's good or bad, and you got to go out and attack each day no matter what. And uh, I know, you know, what I can be, what I'm capable of, and you know, given given that opportunity, and, and hopefully with a healthy year, full year, and um, that was my goal coming here is to be able to produce that and show that, you know, those are just kind of free deals and that that can happen to anybody. And how are you going to respond from that point on? And how are you going to come back even better and, and show what you can do? Pierce, you were here, you saw the receiver room last year. You've seen the changeover, and then I guess the tight end. We've heard a lot about how much better the tight end room or deeper I guess it is this year. What about the weapons that you guys have out there? Yeah, I'd say the weapons we have early on right now, we look a lot different for sure. I'd also say that has a lot to do with last year we had one guy on the team who knew the whole playbook. You know, this year we have multiple guys and guys in every room who knows things from the playbook, knows what they need to do. So it's been a lot easier and a better adjustment period for the new guys who came in because We've had more guys who've been able to teach them and help them along the way. So we've been able to play faster and we've been able to make more plays on the field. So the receivers that we have now, I feel like we look really good. Um, all the guys have really came together looking strong. The running back room too, the tight end room. I really like the way our offense is gelling together. We, we heard so much last year about the tight end and how much Coach Moore wanted to use. And even one of you can answer this. How, what, what is that? What, what does that tight end do for this offense, for the quarterback in this offense, to make it, maybe make it easier? Sure. Yeah. I mean, I think with the be the ability to use two, three tight ends, um, especially one tight end at any point, is there's such a mismatch for defenses. I feel um, to utilize them down the field in the blocking game and you know, get them out to the flats. Um, I think just being able to have two or three really solid tight ends, and I think we have. I mean, everybody in the tight room can play at any single point at any given time, and they have so different skill sets of catching, blocking, both size, speed, and I think that's just really what you want. And um, especially as quarterbacks, it's really it's an advantage to be able to throw to them and, and trust them in the in the protection game as well. So I think they're all doing a really good job um, coming back, you know, learning the offense, really kind of mastering it, and then keep going and competing as well. Tyler, last year, <coughs> uh, Jack spoke a lot about. Just the benefit of being around both Brian and Jeff, both being former quarterbacks. Yeah. What's it been like these first couple of months, just not only being around them as head coaches, but also being mm -hmm. around them with quarterback minds? Yeah, I mean, I've been loving it. I think it's very different from you know past coaches in my career. I think every coach has their pros and cons and benefits in their own experience. Um, and for those guys who have actually lived and breathed it, you know, they're they're we're watching the film and they're saying, well, I would I probably would have done this or I would have done this differently, and you can actually believe that because they have done that or would have done that differently, or they have their own opinion about it, and it, it might be the same as yours, it might be different, you know, as far as footwork wise, you know, it's it's really kind of encouraging and um, it really makes you trust them and what their plan and what their offense is, just because they've done it at the highest levels and they know what it takes, and I think it's a great model to follow them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.